Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, we're starting with Bitcoin, Bitcoin big sell-off. Closing you see here below the 6381 level, we talked about that being the critical level, and then just tanking. Uh, you can see how it just dropped like a rock. We can even go to the one hour chart and just see how it fell down drastically and very rapidly through to the next key levels. And then coming all the way down, we had our longer term levels back, which we projected, some of these levels were back projected from September 19th. And others ones were projected back from August 13th. That's why you don't take your key levels off. And you see what happened here. We came all the way down. To, we had a level down about 5,700 right around here. That's where it paused, bounced back. Now we're trading right uh, around another key level, right around this 5,860 area. So that's the way we're looking right now. We can look. We have to update this to check our retracement levels. This is going to be a pretty, let me remove these upside levels. And now these levels are done. And these levels are done. And now we can go from, well, we, let's, let's see which, what we'll do is we'll leave these other levels on there that are not fulfilled and we'll do the most recent levels down. So where does, what does this give us? Next major area watching is about 5527 to 5561 in this area, then below that 5450. And then if we fall through all that, the next big level is 5200. Now, since this moves so quickly, we've already bounced, you see, up to the 25% retracement. That's a very key level. If we get through there, I'd watch them for a return to around 6000, 6032. And if we get through there, 6150 where there's going to meet the declining rotation zone. Those are the key levels on any rally. There is no major bottoming pattern yet, at least on the four hour, nothing on the one hour yet. We can see and watch if it does form some kind of double bottom, no divergence yet or anything. But remember, you're going against now the declining rotation zones across the board. So that is very aggressive unless you get a super strong bottoming signal. Uh, the next overhead based off the daily, the major resistance, pretty interesting enough, is right around if we do a full 50% retracement of this sell-off move, that takes us, you can see, you can see the 6150 area was where we bottomed here, bottomed here, bottomed over here, bottomed here. So 6150 would turn into major resistance. Let's just check in on the weekly also really quick weekly just keep the big picture in mind which is always good after these kind of major sell-offs so you see weekly we tried to spike through the rotation zone fell back down and this eight was resistance until it just crapped out lower so that's the way bitcoin's looking here's ethereum then we have that key 202 to 201 202 level pausing there and even if you look at the one hour chart here you can see how nicely it bounced there, which gave you, if you're doing some shorter term updates, at least gave you an opportunity to project some levels down. But then this just kept cascading lower very rapidly. So the best thing was we talked about it closed below a key level. That's when you, if if you're long, you take every, you take your stops and you just let it run down and hit the the next major levels. We had about 178 to 180. It did spike through there, then closing back up at the 12.5% GAN level. What did it get down to? It got down to 175. Projected those levels. When were those projected from? Those were projected from way back on uh, October 11th. At this point, we can drag these levels down to help fine tune this most recent sell off and go to the most recent high. And so if we go through about 172, we'll be looking for 169. And then we're looking for about 163 are the major key levels. We're still holding above the uh, September 11th lows, though. 
These are pretty much wiped out at this point. I'm just going to use this most recent one. Let's see where these started. Actually, let me switch over to the daily chart really quick. Get the bigger perspective here. All right, that's the one I really want to use. Let me clean up some of these levels now. All right, let's zoom out. Look at the big perspective here. The level we're trading at right now, this 12.5% level, is from projected from these highs back on... Uh, September 1st of 18 to the lows on September 12th so we're trading right at that key level so let's see let's check in the weekly then we'll look at the four hour on any daily so weekly we could never get even into the rotation zone the eight was providing resistance and then collapsing down we're trading if we get down even to about this 157 that's very critical support right there if we go through there then i'm going to be watching for this 124 and then the 80 level lower now on any rally let's switch to those shorter term charts any rally we can put on our retracement levels from this most recent high to this key low. See, we already bounced back that 25% retracement level. Very key, that's why you should use these GAN levels, so it's why we recommend using them. If we do get through to 187, next rally level we'll be watching for is the 194 with the declining eight. And that's, if you look over here to the left, that was just below some very key support. So watch for that to become resistance now. And if for some reason we got through there, we'd be watching for a return to about 200 to 201. So we have for you on Ethereum and Bitcoin, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.